the Turkish Air Force has made significant strides in consolidating its air assets since the end of the Cold War era. However, many of its aircraft are aging, and the country has faced numerous challenges in acquiring newer planes from allied nations. As a result, the Defense Ministry partnered with Turkish Aerospace Industries to develop the country's first jet aircraft, the Hurjet. Although few details have been released to the public, the Hurjet is expected to replace the T-38 Talon trainer, as well as other aircraft such as the F-16 Falcon and the F-5 used by the STARS aerobatic team. There are also rumors that a naval variant of this multi-role aircraft is in the works. Despite slow progress in design and development, the hard work finally paid off when the first airframe was shown to the public in December of 2022. As the first Hurjet prepares to take to the skies this year, all eyes will be on this innovative aircraft and the impact it will have on Turkey's military capabilities. A new combat aircraft. The Turkish air industry has grown considerably during the past two decades as part of the country's objective to modernize its air forces and align more closely with some of its European partners. As such, the Turkish Air Force partnered with Turkish Aerospace Industries in 2017 to develop the country's first jet aircraft. The primary goal of this ambitious project was to replace aging aircraft, such as the T-38 Talon trainer, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and the F-5s employed by the Turkish STARS aerobatic team. A mock-up of the aircraft design was then unveiled at the 2018 Farnborough International Air Show, where it was officially christened the Hurjet. The light attack aircraft and advanced jet trainer is expected to be a significant milestone for TAI. The Hurjet is a single-engine, tandem-seat aircraft with modern avionics and cutting-edge features that will enhance the awareness and combat capabilities of the Turkish pilots. Not only will the Hurjet replace aging aircraft in the Turkish Air Force and become the country's primary jet trainer, but TAI has also revealed that it will be capable of assuming multiple battlefield roles, such as close air support. And even though no information has been provided about the aircraft's armament, it is expected to carry over 6,610 pounds of ordnance on six underwing hardpoints split between the two wings. This may include rocket pods, air-to-air -air missiles, anti-tank missiles, and precision-guided bombs. Pictures and footage from the first prototype indicate the Hurjet has a length of over 44 feet and a width of about 36 feet. According to TAI, the aircraft will be capable of in-flight refueling, automated flight, and full integration with the latest heads-up display technology. The company has also stated that the Hurjet will be capable of reaching speeds of Mach 1.4, with a rate of climb of 35,000 feet, a service ceiling of almost 50,000 feet, and a range of 1,620 miles. Two seventy degree simulator. In September of 2020, TAI announced it had successfully finished developing a testing simulator for the Herjet aircraft, and that it was created entirely using domestic sources in line with the country's objective of developing the aircraft solely with Turkish resources. The simulator is equipped with artificial intelligence that will significantly enhance the combat capabilities of the Hurjet and help the pilot stay focused during operations and engagements against hostile forces. According to TAI, the simulator will also contribute to the ergonomics of the Hurjet's design based on feedback from test pilots, and will collect data from training simulations still under development. TAI's prototype office further explained that the simulator's synchronization of avionics and flight control software, cockpit, HUD, communication assets, and screens will provide detailed data that will be used to improve the Hurjet. The simulator has some parts of the Hurjet airframe and the most modern technological features. Its size, real-time software, and wide viewing angle will detect the movements and actions made by a pilot during a simulation. The AI will also be able to detect errors committed by test pilots during test runs and other mistakes often associated with Air Force troops still training to become pilots. TAI Deputy General Manager Attila Dogan pointed out this will be a first for the industry. If successful, the simulator will become a crucial tool for the Horjet's role as a trainer. 
During an interview with the Global Defense Corps, Dogen explained that the 270-degree Herjet simulator had been developed prior to the assembly and production of the Turkish warplane to gather data based on the avionics software and control algorithm and to create a unique and efficient aircraft. Naval Variant Mere months after the announcement of the Herjet's 270-degree simulator, the Turkish Defense Ministry revealed plans to develop a naval variant of the aircraft. The decision was prompted by the CATSA sanctions imposed by the United States on Turkey's procurement of the F-35B, a powerful fighter jet. Since then, the Turkish naval forces have been trying to find a solution to procure or develop fixed-wing aircraft capable of landing aboard the landing helicopter dock, or LHD Anadolu, an amphibious assault ship that can be configured as a vertical or short takeoff landing aircraft carrier. Ismaili Demir, the head of the Defense Industry Presidency, also announced that the LHD Anadola would be converted into a drone carrier for Turkey's latest aircraft developments, the Bayraktar TB3 drone. Although the Hurjet has yet to make its land-based debut, Demir revealed during an interview with Anadolu Agency that, quote, we've been working on making changes in the design of Hurjet to operate on naval assets. We carried out several designs and made simulations. It's been seen that the design of its current form can evolve in this direction. The studies are also ongoing. The aim is to evolve Horjet into a shipborne aircraft to operate it from TCG Anadolu. Turkish aerospace industries responded swiftly, indicating that they had already been in discussions with the Navy about the possibility of utilizing the Horjet for carrier use. Horjet's Naval Challenge According to TAI's Aircraft Programs Manager, the aircraft will be able to land and take off from carriers, and systems are already being developed to adapt the Horjet for naval operations. Despite this assurance, some experts have voiced concerns about the Horjet's suitability for seaborne missions, arguing that the aircraft will require a strengthened airframe to withstand the rigors of carrier-based operations. In addition, LHD Anadolu will also require many modifications to house the Horjet, Due to its small flight deck being designed primarily for STOVL aircraft, the carrier will need a catapult system to provide speed for the initial takeoff and an effective hook system to catch the aircraft when it lands. It remains to be seen if the short flight deck will be sufficient for the Horjet to take off or land. Nonetheless, hopes are high that the Turkish Navy and TAI will find a solution to develop the naval variant of this upcoming Turkish-made aircraft. ground test phase. TAI and the Turkish Air Force unveiled the first Herjet prototype just days before Christmas 2022. Turkey's first domestically produced light combat aircraft and jet trainer was displayed to the public after leaving a hangar for its ground test phase. The prototype showcased on the runway was unpainted and missing several components, including engines and electronic systems. TAI plans to produce two flyable aircraft prototypes for additional testing and expects to begin the engine and electronic system tests soon. The company ultimately settled for General Electric's F404 GE102 turbofan engine. According to a Turkish announcement, the first official flight of the Horjet is scheduled for March 18, 2023. And if all goes as planned, TAI anticipates delivering the first units by 2025. For now, the Turkish Air Force Command has already placed an order for 16 aircraft and has even offered Malaysia industrial cooperation should they decide to purchase it. With the Hurjet's promising capabilities, its successful development would mark a significant milestone for Turkey's domestic aerospace industry and strengthen the country's military capabilities. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the content we presented. If you want to stay up to date with our latest releases, please subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. Stay tuned.